a, a church that was behaving in that way so recently, can it really have changed? Um, we, we have new norms in place, but they, they, they do require that, uh, uh, that people you know, really commit themselves. We have the possibility now of a national office verifying anything that I do and of the HSE verifying anything that I do. That at least gives, uh, I, I'm pleased to have that double verification of all the decisions that, 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 that I take when I'm in implementing the policies. I will say I'm a little bit surprised uh, at a, a number of articles which have appeared in the religious press uh, almost saying we should, roll, we should go backwards with regard to these norms we've, we've implemented. Uh, there's no room for that. That. And anybody who uh, does not observe the norms we have in place, there should be zero tolerance for, uh, for that. But, how, but how, how do we square those fine words of yours with when we read in the report itself uh, the lack of cooperation with the Commission uh, on, on the part of the Papal Nuncio and the Vatican itself? Repeatedly the Commission wrote to them and repeatedly not, not only did they not receive cooperation, they didn't even get a reply. Yeah. I mean that the, the, in, in any of the norms that we have, uh, there is no, no role given to the papal nuncio in, in managing. These are, these are, this is my responsibility, and uh, I, I gave uh, the, all the cooperation I, I could uh, to, to the commission. Uh, again, the commission has done not done, done, done a very good service by what it's done, but it's, I, I, I don't stand over uh, decisions of, of other people. Um, I, I, I made I'm just, up my just mind. Just to I help our, our viewers in relation to this, I'm just yes. sorry to cut across you. Just to help our viewers in this, the Commission wrote to the, the congregation uh, for the, for the yes. doctrine of the faith. They were looking, among other things, for, for documents that would have been uh, sent from the archdiocese in Dublin to Rome in relation to all of this. And as I say, they didn't even get a reply. Um, there, there was a reply saying that, they should, that there, there, there were appropriate channels to use and it seems they didn't take up the question after that. Most of those documents, as far as I know, are, are among the documents that, that I would have, pro would have provided the Commission. What about the position of uh, uh, auxiliary bishops who are identified in the report? Uh, in the case of one of them, Bishop Donald Murray, who is currently Bishop of Limerick, I believe, uh, describing his uh, failures in relation to cases that were brought to his attention uh, as inexcusable to cases that were brought to his attention as inexcusable? What I see is that uh, um, the, the results of failures on the part of individuals and that are children who were abused by some priests whose excuses were taken or who, uh, uh, who or, or when abuses were brought they simply were not uh, listened to in the right way. Um, uh, I believe you know, that um, that, you know, as I said, decisions were taken, uh, and as a result of those decisions, more children were abused. Yes, and, 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 and yeah, you can't stand over that. Yes. Uh, and, but, but are you standing over tonight the continuation in a senior role in the church uh, uh, as, as, a, as a bishop, as a member of the House of Bishops, uh, Donald Murray, who is um, so clearly in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, yeah, in the way I've, he handled I've, these I've, allegations? Yeah, yeah. I, I've always said that uh, everybody has to take, assume responsibility for their own actions and as to uh, uh, how in the past or, and today they have uh, acted in, in the best interests of children. That's up to people to follow their, 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 their decisions on this. Let's talk to Mary um, Collins. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yes. I was going to bring in Mary Collins here, particularly in relation... Well, first of all, for you, um, as someone who has uh, pursued this issue over very many years and has been frustrated along the way, Mary, um, what's the, the significance, uh, what does it mean for you this day? I think personally it's, it's in I mean, I mean in, in the beginning when I spoke out and said this sort of thing was happening, uh, the church itself, the diocese, had no compunction in coming out and saying I was being deceitful, I was lying, and that there was no cover-ups. Um, and I think for, for me personally, obviously, it's vindication to see it coming out now uh, by an independent body. But I mean, it's, uh, I take no delight in that. It's, it's horrendous uh, what we have read. And it's not a question of just the odd uh, member in leadership who maybe took things up wrong. Uh, the report makes it quite clear that these men at the top knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly that it was crimes they were covering up. And they knew they were putting criminal abusers into new parishes where they could continue to abuse without warning.
think that uh, very prejudicial parents. And they also, they knew, because this is something, again, the suggestion was there wasn't a full understanding of the nature of, uh, of, of this kind of abuse. They knew that, that it was recidivist, that, that, that there was a high risk of, of abusers continuing to abuse. Absolutely. The report has completely rubbish the idea that there was any sort of learning curve. They, uh, these men knew exactly what uh, was involved in child abuse. They knew it was recidivist. They knew it was a criminal offence. But the uh, priority was, as the Commission says, to uh, protect the church from scandal, to protect the church assets. We saw that with the uh, insurance policies being taken out. And children's welfare came nowhere in the priorities. Gerald Martin talks about the, the changes that have since um, taken place. Um, and the regimes that are in place to protect uh, children, are they adequate in your view? Well, straight away, um, the norms that are in place now, the Vatican has not given them their recognitio, which is the stamp of approval, which makes them enforce that there can be sanctions on the bishop if he does not follow the norms. And uh, the Rome has not given that to them. So basically... Um, they don't really have any force and there's no sanction that can be taken against a bishop who decides not to follow the current norms. And so what, 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 what changes would you want to see? How much further would you urge them to go? Well, I think at this point, I, I don't think uh, we should leave it to the church at all to be taking care of, of uh, responsibility for child protection. It should be the state and it should be state institutions. This current HSE audit, I mean, you'd think that meant that they were going to go in and examine every part of a diocese. All they're doing is sending out a questionnaire, which is, is farcical. Briefly a response from Jeremy Martin. Yeah, I, I think there is one, one difference, and that is that uh, um, anything I do can be examined by the National Board and by the HSE, and they can come forward and make public uh, uh, if I'm not carrying things out. Uh, I, I'm also, uh, I, I agree, uh, uh, sorry, Ma sorry, Mary. The National Board are not allowed, as was stated in the in their first annual report, they are not allowed to name an issue or in this diocese that is non-compliant with the, uh, no. the rules. I'd have no difficulty in that. Mm -hmm. I would say one thing. There's a, there's, there's, there's a, a, a paragraph in the, in the report which talks about the inadequacy of the legal framework uh, about the mandate of the HSE. I, I really believe we need clarity about that. It was said in the firm's reference report. It, it was said um, in, in this report. And the only answer we've got is the Attorney General is still looking All at right. it. All there, right. Uh, there. You know, yeah, I'm very worried about that also. All right, there we'll have to leave us. Uh, uh, Archbishop Jerome Martin, thank you for talking to us, and thanks also to Mary Collins for coming in. Thank you.